Oh, pardon. You know, actually, I think I'm in no mood for games right now. How much longer are we to be kept here? Or we just simply watch as Paris burns from afar? The rabble are rioting. This is the price to be paid for spoiling the masses. You don't understand, Gabrielle. The king sent us here long before the city went up in flames. He knew what was about to transpire. I think he is somehow involved in these events. Oh, come now, Marie. True, he can be misguided and somewhat short-tempered at times, but he's no Nero. Then why have we been given no news for so long? Place on for Gabrielle. The children. They'll soon be out of harm's way. I am most certain of it. Monsieur Clary will take good care of them. For now, at least, we are safe. Safe, Vraiment? Where are the Chateau Guards? We are still protected. The King just preferred to use a different sort of guard. Guards? Or jailers? They won't even let us leave this room, Gabrielle. The King? He has lost his mind to grief. First our darling, Sophie. Then our beloved son. My poor sweet angel. They didn't let me say goodbye. I wasn't even allowed to see him. Sir Farah. Something inside me is, is crying out. Telling me he's still of this world at, at times. I think I hear him calling to me. I'm so afraid. What do you fear, my queen? Everything. Everything horrifies me. The King's wrath, his army of indefatigable automats that Monsieur de Vaucanson has built for him. The charlatans who advise him, who are now more powerful than ministers. What happened to my son? What will happen to the children that God has deigned to leave in my care? I won't let any harm come to them. This I promise you. But how? Do you not see that we're prisoners here? All is not lost. You forget about the one automat that is not hostile to us. This new bodyguard of yours. Okay, I was not expecting character creation. Yeah. I... It's true. Out of all the things I was expecting, this was not it. Uh, it's look who it is. Hello. I didn't really say anything. I was just letting the cutscene play out. I was not expecting there to be character customization, but here we are. Oh, that's kind of nuts. Like, look how... The the detail on the how the character moves is crazy. Like, I know it's just like a preset animation, but damn. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Kino. <laughs> I kind of like the more painted look of the face. I think that's pretty cool. This is this is actually pretty cool. You can you can customize the material. This is this is a weird character creator. I'll tell you what. This is kind of like a marble thing. I kind of like the steel. There's bronze, you got gold, and then you've got like more human skin tones, which I think is weird. I'm thinking we're going metal, metal mode. <laughs> metal mode? What the fuck am I saying? Uh... I'm always so picky when it comes to a character customization thing.
it's crazy how like how well they did making the character look uncanny. I think I gotta go with this. I really like the, the like the sort of painted face makeup aesthetic. Cause it's like they're trying to hide. Cause like these faces look really human. But when you look at like this, it, it almost is like the um the person who was designing this character wanted to like cover up some of the more robotic looking features with the makeup. And I think that looks really cool. Oh my god, we've got classes. We have a shield petrification grenade. We have durability and engineering. Oh my fucking god. They're they're loot multiplier? Hello? Okay, hold on. We're picking listen, we're picking the class that has the highest loot multiplier. I don't care. Uh a gun? Her neutral special, gun. Armored fans. Oh, but I, oh no, I kind of want to do armored fans. Those look cool. Special move block, special move ranged attack. Batons? Okay, Alchemist has good um, loot multiplier. And has resistances. Actually, Alchemist has the most status resistances out of everybody. Weapon is infused with an ice baton? Vial that neutralizes alchemical attacks. Why does alchem... Oh, I was thinking... I was about to say, why do po why does poison work on a uh, automaton? But no, like fire, ice... Full? Full res? Elemental Alchemy Engineering. Uh, Elemental Alchemy Agility. Agility increases immobilization damage. Power increases... Wait. Physical damage, physical damage, and impact. Durability increases health. This is so nuts. 45 damage, 52 damage, 62 damage. Okay, so the bodyguard hits the hardest with the heavy weapon. I almost want to go with Alchemist. Like, I'm actually, I had no idea that this game had, like, customization or anything. Uh, but, like, I like Dancer. It has only two uh, GCD combos, and then you have, like, a 50% chance to go on to other attacks. It's really comfy, and sometimes you press a lot of buttons sporadically. Um, ignite enemy grenade, knock over enemy, immobilize enemy, think fast, chuckle nuts. Honestly, I gotta, I gotta give it. I, I gotta, I'm drawn towards Alchemist. Let's do it. This machine that is now somehow able to speak and understand what we say to it. C'est terrible. Yes, but it is loyal to you. That's all that matters. We're gonna do a little trolling? If it managed to escape the chateau, it could be your eyes and ears in Paris. And if, perchance, the other automats were to go after it? You won't attempt anything foolish. I cannot lose you, Gabrielle. Not now. Aegis? Madame. Uh, the king must be stopped. The very kingdom is at stake. Go and find Vaucanson at his workshop. Niles Arvalide. He surely holds the secret to these tireless automats. And perhaps he will know something about the death of my son. How am I to leave the chateau grounds, Madame? Go to the riverbank. At the far side of the grounds. From there, you can take a boat to Paris. Beep boop, save the kingdom. You wanted to find Vaucanson? Vraiment? 
What if he is the one who is responsible for this unrest? What Vaucanson has done, ma chère, only Vaucanson can undo. All right, we've been given the incredibly simple task of saving an entire country. I mean, nothing could possibly go wrong. Also, I've heard this game has like some dog water performance. And when I booted it up, I was looking at the options menu. And I was actually really surprised everything has just like worked really well so far. Like there are so many games I've played where I have to like configure the controller or fuck around in the option settings. But so far, everything's just been plug and play, which I really like. Uh, on the ultra mode, it was taking like 80% of my graphics card. Uh, so I could probably play it in ultra mode at 60 FPS, but not record it in ultra mode. So we're playing on like custom normal. Uh oh, it's look who it is. Okay, okay. We we did a little hit stun as a treat. It's a little bit weird, but I can definitely get used to this. Oil? Burette? Is this a healing item? The day Aegis was assigned- Oh, it's got like Dark Souls descriptions. The day Aegis was assigned to the Queen as a bodyguard, she was given this metal receptacle containing a precious restorative oil. Now powered by unlimited energy, she can use it to repair damage. Ah, so it's our Estus flask. Gotcha. And that's our uh, dark sign. Cool, cool. I don't... Well, I guess I actually am not full health, so... I might as well use it for the sake of the tutorial. But, um... Yeah, no, the game's been surprisingly plug-and-play so far, so... Pretty happy with that. And I am actually very happy it lets you see your GPU usage while you're customizing your settings. Al alchemical afflictions. Alchemical damage. Oh, fulmination. When she uses the al alchemical capsules for each such attack. Oh, so like the 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 lightning resin dust from Dark Souls. Uh, ignites the target. Have to dodge. Uh, frost, which freezes. You can thaw by attacking. And fulmination. Electrocutes his target with each hit taken, causing additional damage. Okay, so Fulmination sounds pretty nasty. So, we took a hit there. Is my weapon still imbued? Yes, for 24 seconds, I'm pretty sure. Whoa, hold on, hold on, friends. Uh, do I have a grenade, perhaps? Just, just, I do, no, I don't have a grenade. Everybody else starts with a grenade, but not me. Okay. You know, I want to, I want to get in there. I want to perhaps just kill this dickhead. Woo! Okay. We're getting there. That is, I was trying to, I, I was trying to see if there was a block, but we have no range! Where's my range? Overheating and rapid cooling. Uh, endurance, she can no longer attack, jump, dodge, sprint. You can trigger rapid cooling, which can instantly restore amount of endurance. I'm not doing it right. Uh... Oh, okay, there we go. I understand. Uh, ooh. The weapon, it has no range. Okay, bait the attack, dodge back. Or dodge to the left, perhaps? Or the enemy will just give up on life and, like, instantly die. That's, that's something that could definitely happen. Uh, I would like to find a bonfire, and by that I mean it's time for me to to die. I'm so I'm sorry, madam, master. I have failed already. Okay, doesn't have the follow up. He doesn't got the schmooze.
We're, we're playing very careful. I do have to get super close. Oh my god, if that didn't kill. We would be... We would not be having a good time right now. That's a... You gotta hold that. New area, the garden's unlocked. I will immediately go this way. Okay, new enemy. Might be able to... Has a different weapon. Might be able to follow up. Oh, you start glowing when you're low on endurance. That's pretty cool. Okay, that was my bad. That is such a fast attack. We are going to get, like, scrapped. Oh! You'll love to see it. We've unlocked the bonfire. Now, how do we get... Oh, okay. All right. Boutique? Ah, okay, you can purchase stuff here. Ordinary oil. Equipment. So, there is this. Um, one thing I didn't talk about is that I bought the Bastille edition. It was only $10 more, more expensive. Um, and the game is on sale, so it's just 30 bucks, right? We're not going to be using this, because this is technically like a cheat weapon. You pay $4, and you get a really powerful weapon at the start of the game. So we're not going to be using that. Grade A ventilation module. This is just a transcript. We've got statistics. We do not have enough to level up. Understandable. Have a nice day. And that just takes you to the upgrades page. Very nice. Okay, gotcha. Now, there was more stuff over here. That was a very weird perspective. Oh, he's back! Homie is back! Oh, that's pretty sick. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of things. I don't really want to farm for a level up. We probably could. But uh, I don't think it's necessary. I actually think it's completely fine not to do that. Uh, there's the objective. Oh, that's not a boss arena at all, huh? Big open circular area. Yeah, no, totally. That they would never, they there there would never be a boss arena right there. Okay, a little embarrassing. Get him next time. So I've I've had this game on my wish list for a while. And so I finally picked it up because it was on sale. And so far it seems pretty decent. I if the boss fights are good, I don't think I'll be able to complain. I do love how fast that is. Like, that feels really fast for a strong attack. And I honestly can't really complain. Feels pretty good. This is just an alternate route, isn't it? Like, I could've... Okay, bait the attack out. You followed up! Okay, okay. Understandable, have a nice day. I do feel like I am, like, potentially going to go in circles here. Or maybe not. Okay, so I have to bait out the attack of the second one before I go in for a hit. But, like, an animation lock like that, where they, like, target the ground, I cannot, I'm not fast enough to, to get in and get out. Oh, <laughs> it's look who it is. Weren't expecting that one, were ya? Oh, this is the pathway we went down earlier, isn't it? So we could have hopped up here and then fought our way through. Interesting, interesting. I don't know why there's a just a, a treasure chest hanging out. Oops. 
Oh, hell yeah. Hat gaming. Let's go. I don't know why there's a treasure chest just hanging out, but uh, there was. Just the, the old garden treasure chest. I want to see something with sprinting. Wait. That was a little weird. I thought I could, like, press triangle to get it back early. Should I go... I, I should definitely go... Nah. Nah. We could just do it big. We could just do it big. We, we would never lose to a basic enemy. I would never lose to a... Oh! Uh, Alright. How to do that one again? I do wish that did, like, stun him a little bit. You know, we get behind him? That's pretty cool, actually, trying to do the the stamina cooldown thing. But so far, it's just a pretty neat game. That's a big boy. All right, we don't want to we don't want to mess with him right now. We're gonna go this way. Ah, okay. So we accidentally did a stealth kill, which is just like the best kick I've seen in a video game in a long time. Like, I've seen a lot of stealth kills. I don't think I've seen the kick, though. Ooh, hello. Oh, uh, a little embarrassing. We'll, we'll call it up. Well, okay. Get behind him first. That was pretty clean. I think we're getting... It, it's a little bit more... How do I say? S is static the right word? It's a little bit difficult to put into put into terms, but the combat feels a little bit more static than from what I've played in other games. Oh, that's sick. I'm glad I just knew immediately what to do. Me and the designers are on the same page. Ordinary oil. I'm assuming oil is healing because we're a robot. Okay, welcome the Swiss to Guard, killed by the automats that replaced them. Okay, we're just in We are just in hell. Apparently, the demon world. Uh no command was given to replace your company. I therefore urge you to keep your distance and inform me of any signs of hostility. Do not engage unless her majesty is in danger. Reinforcements are defeat the unstable automatics. Uh-oh. Uh oh. There's a lot of people dead here. Oh, they're just over here. Wait, what? Okay. Now normally when you give a boss fight. The first one, anyways, doesn't usually have ads. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. It seems like we found the winning strategy, at least. Get a, get a few nice hits in. Oh my god! an ad. Aegis is broken. Okay. Uh, all anima essence has remained at the place where she died. The air combo! The air combo potential is real! Oh my god! Did you see that shit? Look at this! You can, you can juggle somebody in the air? Holy shit! Absolutely based. I, I heard that. I know there's somebody behind, but you know, I'm just gonna deal with them like that. Okay. Okay, I gotcha. You dodge. You dodge into them. You dodge into where the weapon is coming. You circle around behind them. You beat the shit out of them. But, you know, there's been a lot of discourse recently about um. You need a tool to break this? Okay. Been a lot of discourse recently about robot girls because of Atomic Heart. I need to actually, like, you know, play the game. 
uh, instead of just button mashing and fucking dying to the basic enemy. Uh, but, like, there's been a lot of Robot Girl discourse because of Auto uh, uh, Atomic Heart. My Twitter timeline has been in... I'm not gonna say remiss, because that would imply something bad. But, uh, you know, the Twitter timeline has never been the same. And it's like, where's the... the there's another game about a ro... Uh, like, uh, where you can play as an automaton robot girl. And I haven't seen any fucking discourse about this. Why not? It's fine so far. Okay. What we're gonna do real quick is we're just gonna go in here. This guy's a dickhead. He needs to die immediately. Okay. Ow! Okay, let me out! Let me out! Okay, let me, uh... Oh, it's so, like... This is gonna sound insulting, but it's like the, uh, the, the FNAF-type beat of, like, how they, uh, they move. Like, look at the, look at the automaton's arm when it's about to use the spear, and tell me that ain't fucking FNAF. Oh, we've frozen the enemy. Let's go. Excuse me. Let, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. What's happening? I do not know. I do not know. I do not know what's happening. I do not know what's happening. I do. I. I was blinking. I was teleporting. I was frozen. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm circling in for the backstab. All right, you? Wh which one of you keeps aggroing on me? Is it that guy? No idea. I Leaps over the fence. For some reason, I'm thinking of, um, what's that other game? Like, there's another game that does something similar with the stamina, right? The, uh, is it Neo, right? Where you can, like, attack a lot, and then you can, like, rebuild your stamina with well-timed button presses. I really do need to play Neo at some point. I own the first game. It is interesting that she automatically enters sneak mode when, uh, you're locked onto an enemy that's not looking at you. That's pretty cool. I think a, another interesting thing- oh, there's a drop back there. Something that's interesting is when you enter into the rapid cooling mode, it- if you press triangle or Y too early, then you actually end up getting, uh, stunned on your stamina regen, so you can't hit it too early. I think my biggest problem with the game so far, and why, uh, like, the things that I've noticed about it, just running back to this boss over and over again, is that when you attack an enemy, the feedback's not great. Like, I don't know when the enemy is stunned or attacking. All right, we're gonna reapply our buff and we're doing it big. I've only ever seen it use its spear. Wow, you can dodge real early. That was beautiful, though. You've got to admit, that was beautiful. Is it going to use the gun now? Or is it still using the spear? I don't know why it has a gun if it's never going to use it. Well, you know, sometimes the boss just, like, gives up on life and stops attacking for some reason. 
Uh, module key. Aegis has several slots for modules that augment her stats and alter the behavior of mechanics. Oh, that sounds awesome. The slots have levels that allow Aegis to fit increasingly powerful modules. To unlock a slot with a module key, go to the upgrades menu. Oh, you shouldn't have. I love the sound of that. Uh-oh. Uh, well, you know. There were more ads here? That's crazy. And, like, there, I don't know why the enemy is stunned, like, sometimes when I hit it for the second time, and why it's stunned. Like, see, that that's probably the biggest complaint that I have right now, is that, like, when you hit an enemy with Dark Souls with, like, a big fuck-off hammer, and they get, like, staggered and splattered to the ground, like, you know why they can't attack you. And when you hit them with a sword and you see them, like, stagger and get shaken and they get knocked all over the place and all that stuff, it's like, yeah, even though it's a smaller, like, one-handed sword, you still get it. Like, you still understand perfectly that they, uh, you still understand perfectly why they got hit, or why they got staggered, and why they can't attack you. But in this, it's like, sometimes I hit the enemy once, and they're staggered, sometimes I hit the enemy twice, and they're staggered, sometimes, and they always, like, wave their weapons around, right? So it's like, I don't know if I've staggered the enemy, or, I'm a, or if I'm about to, like, eat shit. So hopefully we can get, like, a bigger, more powerful weapon. And use that at some point. But that'll be it. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can get real quick. So we can get the... Um, engineering... Which is your loot multiplier. Uh, endurance... Or vigor, which is your endurance and your critical hit multiplier. Wait, what? Durability, which is your health. I actually, I actually like that a lot. That's great. I like that. Uh, fizz damage and impact. Impact is probably your stun. Um, agility, which is your immobilization? Huh. Well, you know, I'm always a strength gamer in these kinds of things, so go ahead and give me power. Love to see it. Now, let's look at the module slots. So we've got slot A. Let's go ahead and get slot C, just for fun. Not enough resources. Now, what do I do with these? Did I get modules? Uh, Anna, you need bronze ingots. Potency. You need catalysts. Uh, modules. Is this, is this... So you can buy the will to live. Uh, armor and balance when health is at the lowest. So this is like your blue tear stone ring. And then... This is the, uh, this is your, what is it? Your extra souls, your anima essence. I, yeah, that's probably good. Do we have anything here? Ventilation, uh, reduces the internal frost damage. You take, oh, that's awesome. You take frost damage for using the, uh, the efficient vent. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, and then module slightly increases health. Uh, let's get the avarice. Like that's, we have, that's completely okay. And then we can go to our inventory, and we can equip the Avarice model. That's actually so cool! You take- I was wondering what that was! I thought that was like a cooldown before you could use it again, but no! If you- <laughs> if you expend- hold on, I wanna see this. We- we rested a bonfire recently, I gotta see this. I- I gotta see this. Oh my god, that's so cool! You take frost damage from using your cooling. That's a that's actually dope. That that that's really cool. I, I like it a lot. Okay, we're calling it here. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.